Welcome to the Purim Show. My name is Dave Howie, and uh, we're here in front of Lakes 99.5. Normally, that's where you catch me is on the morning show here in town. Uh, right on Main Street, we have Diane Sazma joining us. Good morning. Good morning, Dave. Um, Diane, we've got a big event coming to Purim. It's the East Otter Tail County Fair, and this is uh, near and dear to you. You've put a lot of work into this. Yes. Um, our fair is July 21st through the 24th, so it's just a little over two weeks away. Okay. And we have four uh, full packed days that's... Um, going to be available for um, all family and um, kids especially that's kind of their thing even though each day is designated as a specific day okay. um, we will actually start out with Thursday being our veteran and daycare day we have numerous activities planned um, uh, we have scarecrow contest going on uh, we have a wood carver coming in a po uh, pottery is that like a, a chainsaw carver no is... actually he does the wood turning lathe and he oh, makes nice. the most beautiful bowls so it's it's something that you're not going to want to miss and he's actually going to be here all three uh, he'll be here Thursday Friday and Saturday of the fair um, along with uh, I, um, Reggie um, Dram who also does uh, pottery and she okay. will make a uh, take and you can actually take it and go okay. um, with so, the kids. So you have the so. opportunity to see the demonstrations but also to yes. take something home with you. Yes, exactly. Okay. So, um, so that is also going on and then uh, we will uh, be having the reptile or the rad zoo coming on Thursday of the fair as well. and. Um, and of course the wristband night is Thursday night and that okay. is the only night for wristband night. Um, rides are available throughout the whole entire fair but if you want to do wristband it's only Thursday night. So, okay. And um, numerous places um, around East Ottertail County have pre-sale tickets available so you can purchase them ahead of time to save a couple dollars. Okay. And, um, and then we'll top out the night with the Bridge Brother Band in the park. Um, then we'll move into Friday, and on Friday we have the Senior Citizen Day. Okay. And again, we'll have the wood carver, and uh, Reggie will be there with her pottery as well. We have Farmer Bob, um, who does some pretty unique uh, um, interaction with the audience in his uh, unique tractor. So I don't want to say too much more because we want you to come out and see for yourself. See Farmer Bob. Yep, um, yep, come see Farmer Bob. And then we also have a ventriloquist um, that will also be in the park shelter that day. And, um, and then uh, Friday with Senior Citizens Day, um, there will also be a band in the park uh, from one to three. And then after that, they can sit back and, and enjoy their bingo. Um, okay. Bingo, will, that's the only day that we have like an afternoon session um, specifically that's added into the schedule. So, okay. um, and then uh, uh, Friday night is the, the big modified tractor pull. So we'll actually start that out with the antique at five and then we'll move right into the um, the modifieds at seven. So um, uh, bring your earmuffs because it does get loud. So, <laughs> so come on out and enjoy the tractor pull. And then uh, we'll have uh, Brady Pearl will be in the park shelter from four to seven. And then um, the Fat Cats will be our um, beer garden. They're still going at it. They're still going oh, at great. it. And they'll be in the great, beer garden yeah. and it's gonna be kind of like a street dance type. So sure. come on out, put your dancing shoes on and have some fun and listen to the uh, Fat Cats. Saturday um, is Kids Day at the Fair, and like I told you, Dave, every day is Kids Day at the Fair. Exactly. Um, there's uh, numerous events going on. There's um, games going on in the park. There's also, um, in the afternoon, there's also going to be a Kids Tractor Pedal Pole, which is a state-sanctioned one, and mm -hmm. that'll be uh, uh, put on by the New York Mills FFA. So qualifying to go on to another event? Correct. Okay. Yep. Yep. Um, Again, we will have the, you know, the wood carver and uh, Reggie will be there as well throughout the whole day. We'll have the ventriloquist, he'll be back that day. And then we'll also be adding in the Audubon Center of the North Woods. Um, they'll be giving some educational sessions as well in the park. So that's something that you're not gonna wanna miss out on because they have some unique animals that they bring in that you don't get to have that hands-on um, experience with. Oh, so that's something that's you're gonna not gonna wanna miss. Great for the kids, yeah. Exactly. And then, um, of course, then our big event for the evening um, will be the American Wrestling Federation, and this is something new, so we're not sure, um, you know, how it's going to draw the people, but we're hoping this will draw the people in, and um, it'll be a good time. It's something different. Um, well, you know, and that's a really good point. There's such a variety of entertainment that you're providing in this one little few-day fair, and it's happening. It's in. These are great opportunities. You've got the music. You've got this kind of entertainment. You've got all the demonstrations. The 4-H, the FFA, all of those things happening in one spot. Exactly. There, there's a lot to see, and so uh, you know, you need a full day to 
experience everything. That's, oh, come uh, every day. Yep, and yeah. exactly. Come every day. Yeah. Um, and then we will, uh, special blend will be our act uh, in the beer garden on Saturday night. They will okay. finish it out with the street dance. So um, uh, it's a good time to come out and uh, sit back and relax. And, or, and if you want to dance, go ahead and dance. So, so in the time we have, do you want to uh, hit a few other key things that we'd like to know about the fair this year? Yes. On, on Sunday, um, it, we have the pancake breakfast. So uh, please come on out for the pancake breakfast. We have uh, five families that will be receiving the Century Farm Awards, which that's a pretty unique award. And that's a pretty good number for Ottertail County. Okay. And the 4-H Awards will also be going on on Sunday. And then um, at 6 o'clock on Sunday night, we will be closing... Um, the fair out for one more year and we'll start planning for the next year. You just fair. jump right it, back into it. Yeah, we just start <laughs> all Diane, over again. Diane Sasma is joining us here from the East Outer Tail County Fair. Diane, thank you so much for your time today. Uh, give us again the invitation for the weekend. Um, the East Outer Tail County Fair is July 21st through the 24th. Um, that is a Thursday through Sunday. And if you would like more information, please check out our website at www.eotcountyfair.org. And you will find all the information that you need for OPA class and all the information on all the events taking place. So, Schedule and everything is there. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yes. Costs, things like that. We didn't even uh, get to the midway. We'll have uh, fun out uh, riding around the ride. So uh, make sure you bring some extra money for that, kids. Thanks for watching. This is our uh, TV3 Purim show. I'm Dave Howie. Diane, thank you again. Hello, welcome to the Purim Show on TV3. My name's Dave Howie, and joining me we have uh, Shirley and Rick Umberger. Uh, feed the fishes. Feed the fishes, huh? Feed the fish. It's Feed the uh, fish, okay. We uh, want to learn a little bit more about this nonprofit organization uh, that the Umberger started that um, is here to help kids, maybe kids that uh, wouldn't otherwise have an opportunity to be outside and en right. enjoy the fishing. Right. Uh, we, this is our fourth year, and uh, we normally take kids who don't get the chance to come to the lakes and enjoy the lakes. We bring them out here, and they get to camp out. They get to uh, fish, ride tubes, swim, paddle boat, kayak, all the things that a lot of kids get to enjoy, but these, these kids just don't. So, And uh, we provide that at no cost to them. Okay. And so uh, kids come out normally on a Friday night, and then uh, they stay pretty active that night. They get up Saturday. Uh, breakfast, a Bible story, and then it's go time. They, they go the rest of the day. So by, by 6, 7 o'clock, they're pretty tired when we take them home. So. And uh, so pretty much uh, through the Saturday. Right. It's Friday night through Saturday evening. Okay. So, so. nice quick adventure to go on. Right. All right. And uh, Shirley, what are, uh, uh, where do the kids come from? Who are, um, who are your campers? Who are our campers? We usually have ages 7 to 12. Mm -hmm. We've had older up to 14, I think, and then they're from Otter Tail. We've had them from Fergus. Um, yeah, we've had them from all DL. the all the little towns: Sabika, yeah, Wadena, New York Mills. Sure. Uh, any 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 yeah any little town around. So uh, in a moment and across the screen, you'll be able to see some of the contact information if somebody would like to follow up. Are you uh, online as well? We are. Our uh, our email address is feedthefish4 at gmail.com. Right. Mm -hmm. And our website is www.feedthefish4.com. And uh, just so we have an idea of where we're at, give us uh, some location dry ideas. Uh, we're here. on Hoffman Lake. It's between Dent and Virgus, right off Highway 85. Okay. Um, and the signage is very humble, just trying to, you know, kind of keep it low key for the kids. It's not so much a drive-by experience. You're, you're trying to make arrangements. People can book their time and, and, and show up. Right. Uh, actually, we normally go pick up the kids. Okay. And so wherever they're at, uh, we'll go pick up the kids and, and we'll take them home when it's all done. Fantastic. So once again, there's trying to make it as easy as possible for the families. Well, it's tremendous. You know, you mentioned that there is no charge to the, the kids that are coming out and having this experience. So how is it that you stay stay afloat? Uh, well, th through the generosity of, of friends and businesses in town. Okay. We get some, we get some great support. Uh, Cabela's gave us a grant this year where we were able, so now that each each child that comes, mm -hmm. when they go home, they get a bag of goodies, but now they also get a fishing pole in their own tackle box. Oh, terrific. And so... Courtesy of Cabela's. Courtesy of Cabela's. Shopco donated $500. Lake Region 
electrical co-op donates. So yeah, there's a lot of companies around town that actually help us out. So, so really turning your vacation spot into ministry. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Now, we also talked a little bit off air about an event that's coming up. It's an opportunity to help out. And uh, tell us about the fundraiser. It's, it's our third annual golf scramble at Perm Golf Course. Uh, it's uh, Saturday, July 30th with a 2 o'clock start, 1 o'clock when you get there and sign up and everything. And then uh, it's $60, it's, and, and that covers golf, your golf cart, and a meal. There's raffles and silent auctions, and we're just gonna have a good time. And Fantastic. so, I mean, that, that is our only fundraiser for the year, so that's where we get the bulk of our funds from. It's on screen uh, as we're talking, but uh, tell us uh, again how they'd sign up for the actual event. Uh, they can either call us, uh, they can contact the golf course, they can, okay. go, to our, they can go to our email and email us. Okay. And so, so However if they, they want to get hold of us. If they want to talk to uh, they call Joe directly at 6070 346 6070 there at the golf course. Right, right. And just sign up that way as yep. well. All right. Well, it's going to be a, a great day on the golf course, but it's uh, sure a nice day here on Hoffman. I I I think I'm just going to stick around and go camping. <laughs> um, you ready for one more? Sure. One more kid right. to play out here? That'd be great. Right. Uh, well, listen, we appreciate your time today both of you. Thank you for doing this. Yes, thank you for coming. We appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, thank you, you for for allowing us to do this. All right. It's and great. again, it's uh, Feed the Fish and uh, opportunity to help out coming up with a golf tournament. And uh, we've got information there on the screen that you can use to follow up today. So thank you for watching TV3. That's the Perm Show. Mm -hmm.